We're all living in a culture dominated by social media. Everybody posts everything online. And, and that's exactly what my next guest did. But little did they know that their family selfie was going to save one of them from a lifetime behind bars after an ex-girlfriend falsely accused him of assault. What were you charged with? I was charged with burglary of habitation with intent to commit a felony. And uh, that's punishable up to life in prison. Um, my, my ex I dated back in high school accused me of breaking into her house, beating her down, and carving an X into her chest with a box cutter. So, Aaron, as his mother, wh what was going through your head when all of this happened? We didn't know why he was being arrested. So I was trying to come up with $150,000 bail, so I had to borrow money to get him out of jail. We had to deplete our 401k and our savings to hire attorneys to fight this, and it was three weeks before we even knew what he was being accused of. And as soon as I knew what date she said this happened, I knew immediately that he was with me and we had been to an event and posted a selfie on Facebook. So, so where is the case at now? After nine months, the case has finally been dropped. <laughs> she, uh, she has been arrested and charged with a false police report. Did someone actually attack her and put an X on her chest? No, sir. She did it to herself. She did that herself? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What, what did you do? I immediately told our attorney, when he told us September 20th, I said, he was with me. And he said, all day? I said, well, he was at work from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and he was with me from 6.30 to 9. So I immediately knew, and I, I check in everywhere I go. I take selfies, much to my children's dismay. I take selfies everywhere I go, and I post them. So this was taken at the time that she accused him of breaking in Yes, sir. Holding her down and putting this X on her chest. And that is 60 miles away from where she said he was. God, dog. CJ, let me ask you something. How's your life changed since all this started? Since it started, uh, I had to quit my job that I was working at because my mugshot kept being pulled up with the arrest report, and people would keep harassing me. So I eventually quit, and uh, it was hard for me to find another job. Nobody was hiring me because of the background check kept showing this. <clears throat> so luckily, I have now found a job, but I'm still worried. I'm worried that her friends or her family can come after me at any point in time. I'm still having to look over my shoulder. You know what, man? They've got to come up with laws where when you do something like this, something happens to you. If you destroy a person's reputation online with falsehoods and lies, you can't just go home and go, well, I printed it. No, something should happen to you especially if they can prove it not to be true. There's got to be some, some form of vindication for people who get violated like that. But thank God you got a mom that took care of business, man. Congratulations, man. Thank Great you, job. CJ and Aaron, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. Best of luck to you and your family, man. Keep working hard. Don't worry about it. Hold your head up, man. Thank you, sir. Keep it there, folks. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.